Welcome to my kitchen again. Today we're making empanada. I've never done this before. We're gonna start with the dough. Remi fa. So, <laughs> two cups of flour and then one and a half teaspoon of salt with one stick of butter. I know this is a culinary sin right here. I can't find the measuring cups. It's like snow. And then butter. Deshaun is really hungry already. So I better hurry. I probably need an apron. Game face on. Apron on. Scales off. One egg. One third cup of water. And one tablespoon of vinegar. And then we mix. Mmm! Now we have to mix the liquid mixture onto the dry mixtures. It smells good! So we're gonna put some flour on the table because I am going to knead the dough. Now that I kneaded the dough, I'm gonna lay it flat and refrigerate it for an hour to rest. Fridge time! So this is a beef empanada as well. So we have the ground beef right here. These are the ingredients that I'll be chopping. Uh, five garlic cloves, bell peppers, onion, and olives. Pepper time. This could also work as a container for the food. Gosh, I am a genius. I'm just not kidding. I've done it before. <laughs> if they say one bell pepper, one bell pepper could be like half of the size. And this is quite big, so I'm gonna just use half of each because that's a lot of bell peppers. I love the smell of cilantro. So, one tablespoon of cilantro and now olives. Since we're already cooking, we might as well learn a few words. Garlic is ajo. Olives, aceituna. Pepper is pimienta. And this is guapa. <laughs> it's time to cook empanadas de carne molida. So first, we saute the ground beef. So you don't need a lot of oil for, for this because the ground beef already has fat. Okay, now we're going to saute everything else that we chop, mostly the vegetables, and then mix it in with the ground beef. I add in the fifth flavor, which is love. So um, I'm gonna mix the two together. Now I'm gonna add in the olives, the crushed tomatoes, and cilantro. And then after that, I'm gonna season it. Make sure to try it before you assemble everything together with the dough. Mm. So this is pretty much done. We're gonna take out the dough from the fridge. We have the dough here. You just need to flatten it out, make it really nice and thin. That's a big empanada right there. My cute empanada. Ta -da! <laughs> My first ever attempt to make empanadas. We have a lot of leftover with the meat, so what we can do with this is pair it with some rice, and with that, you have carne molida or picadillo. Yes, it's like a commercial. I like it. So there you go. Empanada. 